we are on the fifth Lord's Sunday from Resurrection Day. And we have two readings, as usual, from Acts chapter 11, verse 9 to 30, and from the Gospel of John chapter 4, verse 5 to 42. In those passages, and according to the character of the day, our Lord Jesus Christ called all the people who were living in the town of Sikar. They became all of them believers. They became all of them Christians. And that we learn it from John chapter 4, verse 5 to 44. The most, therefore, celebrated person is Samaritan woman in that town of Sika, because this woman became the apostle to this town. But also others who believed in Christ from this town, Christ as the Son of God, we do remember them today. Seeker town was almost in 50 kilometers from Jerusalem on the way to Samaria. And Samaria, therefore, was about 70 kilometers from Jerusalem. And then from Samaria to Nazareth, the homeland of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, was about 60 kilometers. You can use in your Bibles, sometimes there are some maps. You begin with something which has given you to measure the distances, and then you are able to see all of this detail. All the Sicarians therefore became believers of our Lord Jesus Christ and therefore they became Christians through the testimony of this Samaritan woman. Both the passages which we read today prepare us in the methods how to, to do the mission work for extending faith and truth of God's kingdom towards other people, being led always by our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel is a very interesting passage. Please read it always. Study it repeatedly, and you'll be able to discover all the mysteries which are inside in that. Among our fathers, St. John Chrysostomo is the one who was very interested in this and he studied it and wrote and taught 80 pages, not written by the hand, no, today, as they are now in the books which we have, 80 pages about this only, this passage from Verse 5 to 42. We can find this in the books which we say we call Nishen and Post Nishen Fathers. There are two series here, but the first series, volume 14, is where we can find all of this material. The narration is very simple, but all of it regarding spiritual matters. Each word can give you several other meanings when you look at it and reflect on it. Remember, they were coming from Jerusalem, they are going to Nazareth, but before Samaria, this is the town of Sikar. And Jesus knew 
all of these areas. He left them going to the town itself to buy some bread because they had left Jerusalem without bread. And himself, he wanted to drink water. And he knew where this pool, where this well of Jacob. And Jacob had given this well to, to Joseph. He went there and sat there next to it until someone came who is this Samaritan woman. And the discussion is there. I don't want to repeat that. But it is very important for you to go through it and you will discover several things which are mysterious. The Acts, the passage is also very interesting because it is showing us that the center of all the work of the mission is Jerusalem. But somewhere the persecution became more serious against the Christians. They killed Christ himself first and then after they extended this persecution to all the followers. And the followers were running here and there. Then a town or a city by then, which was in a distance of 800 kilometers, Antioch or Antiochia, became the center. But also some other centers, small ones and big ones, because we know that also Alexandria became a center. Cyprus became a center and some other areas which were around. Something very interesting also there is to mark Barnabas. Barnabas. I remember now Barnabas whom I brought here. He was a Tanzanian sort of man. We ordained him here in order he may assist in working with us in Tanzania, Bukoba. He was the missionary priest first. I had remembered this passage and we gave him this name and we gave him the instructions always to go because we had no priests enough by then. Making some liturgies to the people and baptizing them in small, small centers which were there already. He is there still, this Barnabas, he has grown up, he has become old man now. He assisted very much our work also in Tanzania. Barnabas was among the 70. Barnabas was among the 70, not among the 12, was among the 70. And he himself had become very close to St. Paul after Saul. And we know that he came from Jerusalem, Barnabas. He went as far as uh, Tarsus, as Tarsus, to find our, our brother Saul, in order they may continue with the work. But also we know that sometimes they separated. Barnabas went to Cyprus and became the first work person in Cyprus while Saul continued with his work as they were doing before. All of that to connect it also with our own church here in Uganda. You remember when myself I came here and I realized the situation immediately that it is very difficult but now, when we say that we have a bishop of Guru and Eastern Uganda, people around the world cannot believe it. But the technology was from the readings which I knew. And doing the work to extend it, to do the mission work silently, without so much uh, talking. And we believe that after this uh, coronavirus,
virus, maybe we shall be able to extend this work to the West, where our brother Asimwe Ashokeli is the first person to be in that area. He wants support in order to extend the Orthodox faith there. But who is giving him the support? We have to give him the support in all the ways. Mwekume mwena, 